What's poppin', what's crackin', what it do? Your girl Christelle Bubblin' here with your Bubblin' News Brief. Lil Wayne was released from New York's Rikers Island prison this morning after serving eight months of his one-year sentence for weapons possession. His D-80 baby and baby mama Toya were waiting for him at the gates along with a camera crew that was filming it for a reality show. Of course, in related news, experts predict a rise in Yaz commercials and you'll never get that nouveau ring jingle out of your head. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Every day. Police have dropped charges against Gucci Man, who was arrested on Monday for a plethora of violations. Popo says Gucci was driving recklessly in a white Hummer and refused to pull over when they told him to. Once he reached his destination, Gucci introduced his fist to the face of a man repeatedly. And when the cops tried to break up the fight, they couldn't. Unable to stop Gucci's wrath, the cops hit him with a dose of that good old fashioned pepper spray and arrested him. Radrick better get it together because the judge says he may get hit with charges at a later date. Laura Govin, Gilbert Arena's ex fiance Gloria Govin's sister, and Shaq's alleged jump-off, tells Sister to Sister magazine she never had any of Shaq's diesel. Laura says Shaq's ex-wife Shawnee approached her about doing the show basketball-wise, but she declined and recommended her sister do it and that it's Shawnee's fault rumors about her and Shaq persisted and caused the drama that it did on the show. That's what I had heard, and now you know. I'm going to settle into this bucket of sweet tea. Your homework assignment? Follow me on Twitter at Bubble and visit my website, crystalbubbling.com.